Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Temporal Kit. But before we actually install in Temporal Kit into Automatic 11.11, we need to get a few things. For this video, I would recommend you download this Dancing Woman from Pexels. Download and install the Rev Animated Checkpoint. Also, um, to make the animation look a little bit smoky, I'm using this LoRa from Civit AI. Once you have got your LoRa and your checkpoint installed and you have your video, we can head over to Stable Diffusion and install the extension. So I already have the extension installed from Cara Strawberry, but you can find that through by clicking on the available tab, load and searching for temporal kit. This will give you this link over here and you can click install. Once you've installed, as always, some I recommend you restart automatic 11.11. That just resets everything uh, nicely and you'll have this tab at the top here, temporal kit. Go ahead and drag the video that you've downloaded into this box here. And we need to know a few details about the video before we can set up the rest of the settings. So if you right click on the video, go to properties, you'll see the details here of the video. So it tells us the frame width is 1280, the height is 720 and it's 25 frames per second. But we can use this information to fill in these boxes. So what we can do here is we want two sides. That means a grid of four and the heights will then be doubled. So we take the 720, we double it, we set the height to 1440. The frames were frames per second with 25. Make sure that EV synth mode is checked. And for this example, we're going to set five frames per keyframe. That, that just means every fifth frame we'll get a keyframe. Provide a target folder where you want temporal kit to output the results. Make sure you have batch run checked as well as split video. For me, a majority of the time, split video seems to work the best. So once you have that, go ahead and click run. Okay, that's finished. But before we see the results, I do want to take you to the GitHub page of Kiara Strawberry. We, she provides a very nice tutorial on the steps for uh, Temporal Kit. So, and also, there's a mention here that we have to have FFmpeg installed and added to the path. So make sure that that is part of your uh, installation steps. Uh, also gives an example of what all the variables mean, which is fantastic. This is a really great tutorial. And step one, of course, would be what we've just done. Installing the extension from the extensions tab. Uh, step two would be installing FFmpeg. I won't demonstrate that today, but you can go ahead and follow these steps. And then over here, preparing your video. And if you follow these steps, you'll get a really good result. What we've done up until this part is followed all these steps one, one to 12, and our output folder should look something similar to this. So if we look at this output folder, we have a zero, a one, input and output, and the video that was used in the input folder, here's our 2x2, two two, so four, four frames, or well, four tiles would probably be a better way to describe that. Um, and then we have the zero and the one. I don't use the input and output in this example. I, I use the zero and one. And a lot of that is mentioned as well in this tutorial from Kiara. So in the next step, it says go to the image to image, 
and choose your zero folder and generate generate a keyframe. This is what this is meant to be doing here. So over here we will go to our image to image. Okay, we will need a keyframe. Sorry, not a not a keyframe, but a uh, a tiled frame that was generated. And I'm just taking the one from zero input and taking the first image here, taking this image. Okay, so once I've got that image in there, I've already prepared a lot of the setup here just to make this quick and easy for you. I've selected the checkpoint of rev animated. I have the clip skip to two. I've got a prompt. I have a negative prompt typed in. All the links and prompts will be listed in the description below. I have set the sampling method to EULA A, sampling steps to 30. I have enabled a detailer for the face. Now I have three control nets enabled. So the first control net is tile. The tile resample is the preprocessor, with control net more important. The next one is canny, and I've left that with control net is it more important. And then the last one I have is open pose. And I've used DW open pose full with control net is more important. You can play with the different control nets to, which, to determine which one you find is better for yourself, as well as adjusting each of these weights. Let's go see what this will generate for us. And there you have our new image with the smoky background coming off. And that's because I've used this Laura smoke looks like. And I did that just to play around and have a bit of fun. Now what you want to do is take the seed and lock that in. So lock in the seed over here on this box. You can take away this image if you want to. Go to batch. And then in batch you want to take your zero folder, take the input, put that over here, and then put in the output folder. Okay. Once you have done that, you click generate. Okay, when that's done, You'll notice over here in the output folder, you have the images that have been generated. Okay, now what I find the best thing to do is repeat that for the next folder over here, so the index one folder. I also find that this workflow for Temporal Kit takes a little bit longer than I expected. So I will speed up the video. And I'll pause pieces and, and speed up so you don't have to wait. So once you have input one folder and output one folder, you can click generate so that the output has the new images. Okay, so that is done. So now that means in the output folder, we have our new image. That's great. Let's head over to the instructions again. We have formed our image to image. Now we go back to the temporal kit, switch over to the EP Synth process tab and follow these steps. Okay, so that means we go here, 
we go to the EVSense process input folder let's take zero okay, this is zero and we click read loss settings and this brings in the video brings in the configuration we used before output resolution this should be the same one we used here so this should be 720 for the height if we go here this should be 720 even though it says two sides i'm i'm guessing this is 720 i've seen other examples where uh, we double this up because it's two two per side but the output of the split image should be the same height of the frame itself so i'm going to leave this as 720 and then you say prepare ebsense now what that's doing is in the frames folder it's building up all these frames and you see the individual images they're not tiles That's why I left the resolution to be the resolution of the individual image. And the other thing it does is it puts in the key key images here. So these are the key frames. These key frames are came from the output directory where you just split these up for the key frames. And we're ready now to take on the next step, which is to process with EVSense, but we've not downloaded this program yet so go ahead to this url which i'll leave in the description below evsense download and install it and we can move to the next step which is to take this folder what you want to do is sorry not this folder you want to open up evsense and then your zero frames folder you want to drag that into the video yeah so that's the zero folder up here and then frames this and it does this really nice tells you that these would be the numbers of each of the frames and then for the key frames you want to drag in the keys folder over here and then that pre-populates all this i i also like to click the advanced go to synthesis details high and then click run all okay what that's going to do while that's running it's going to generate these out 002 out 007 and generate all these and we'll see in a moment what we do with that Okay, now that that's done, we can head over back to Stable Diffusion, Automatic 1111, and click this Recombine EVSense. Okay, what's happened now is it's created this crossfade file. We can take a look at that over here. We refresh this we have this crossfade file and it's combined all those frames together really really nicely now you have to repeat the process for index one folder so we have to go to this index one folder and we have to repeat the process so i wanted you bother watching all that i'll i'll go ahead and set this up to one read loss settings, prepare, and do the process again for, for part one, and I'll come back to the video when that's done. Okay, we've got the crossfade file. So we refresh this, we have the crossfade file. And this is the last two frames because it's a very, very small video. Now you have both, right? You've got index zero crossfade and 
the index one crossfade. What you want to do in your video editing software is join those two together and build the final animated video. That's all for today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111, check out the links below in the description. As always, please support this channel by subscribing and clicking on the like button below.